morning all. So today we are going to discuss about uh, Gundoyod character 6. This experimental setup is totally called uh, Gundoyod character 6. See, uh, before we are going to explain about this experimental setups, we are going to see what are the uh, devices we need to do before we are going to take readings from these all the devices, how we are going to make these arrangements. Uh, first of all, we have to discuss the particular point. So, before that, each and every device and name we must and should know, we must and should want to know that. See, what is the name of this device? So, the name of the device is gun power supply. In this experiments, we are going to use this in several components, we are going to use several microwave devices, so oscilloscope so and gun power supply, uh, so we are going to use, even cooling fan also we are going to use. So, remaining all the devices in the microwave bench setup, this is nothing but a micro, totally this is nothing but microwave bench setup. Microwave bench setup. So, each so the entire microwave bench setup, we have some uh, functional uh, blocks. First functional blocks, what is the name of this first functional block? Gun oscillator. What is the second functional block? Pin modulator. What is third functional block? Isolator. What is fourth functional block? Frequency meter. What is uh, uh, sixth functional block? Variable attenuator. At last, we have to connect detector mount. So, uh, through, uh, see, we have to connect along with the reductor mount, we have to connect the CRO probe. So, if you want to see the output, if you want to see the output by, see, if you want to see any output in the form of a waveform representation, so then we need to go for oscilloscope support or otherwise we don't want to go for oscilloscope support. So, in this particular exercise, we are going to calculate the value of V, v value as well as I value. V is nothing but a voltage. I is nothing but a current. I mean, we are going to find the value of voltage current characteristics. Next setup, so see from a student's point of view, you must and should know that what are the process before you are going to do these experiments, what we want to do, what we don't want to do. See, we need to keep this gun bias on gun power supply device. So, there is a no available. One is gun bias, gun bias. another one is another one important uh, no is pin bias. So, gun bias always minimum position we need to keep. Pin bias always we need to keep maximum position we need to keep. This is a very, very, very important point for doing gun diode characteristics. Doing gun diode characteristics, very most important point. Gun bias is minimum condition initially. Pin bias is maximum condition. Also, mode frequency is no problem. It may be a clock, it may be a minimum position or it may be a maximum position. Nothing will happen. So coming to here, so here we have one probe, here we have one probe, this is, what is the name of this uh, probe? Gun supply. So by using this gun power supply, we are making the connectivity, we are making the connection from gun supply to gun oscillator, pin supply to pin modulator. So remember once again, see uh, everyone you have to remember this, very most important connection. So from gun power supply device into, we are going to make some connectivity, I mean connection. So, from gun supply point to gun oscillator, we need to make a connection. And the pin supply to pin modulator, we need to make a connection. Only these two connections. Only these two connections. Only these two connections only uh, very, very essential in uh, gun diode characteristics. See, coming to that, one more important point. So, when you're going to switch it on this uh, gun diode, I mean gun power supply expert, the entire bench setup, cooling fan should be very near to this uh, gun oscillator as well as a pin modulator. So, cooling fan is essential for any uh, microwave experiments. Why? Because each of, see, when it is uh, going to switch it on, when you are going to switch it on this entire bench setup, so gun oscillator, it is used to generate the heat energy more and more. If it is going to continuously operate, it will uh, dissipate more heat energy. If, if you keep on, keep on going to switch it on, it will, uh, there is a possible to get burn. Which one? This gun oscillator. So, students, please remember one thing. So, while operating these experiments, while operating this gun diode exercise, total experiments. So what we need to do, please remember very most important point, one more important point I, I will give you today. See, we need to adjust, when you are going to adjust this gun bias supply, um, mostly you have to take 2 to 3 minutes. Within 2 to 3 minutes, we need to complete this reading note on, reading uh, calculation also. Within 2 to 3 minutes, we need to complete this entire uh, experimental uh, what is the calculation? Why? Because if it is gun bias, it is continuously switched on, this gun oscillator get uh, heat energy is more. Once it will get heat energy is more, more, then there is a chance of getting 
Yeah, so inside uh, this waveguide, there is a di diode. It is going to be get burned. Totally, it is going to be uh, burned means so uh, total and uh, entire micro -wave setup, setup. It may not be work properly. So this is uh, this is the precautions before we are going to do this gun diode characteristics experiments. Okay, right. So remember one thing. So gun oscillator, it is nothing but a diode which you see. It has uh, what you see. It used to uh, conduct the current. It, uh, it used to allow the conduction from. Uh, both direction, I mean front side and back side, it allows the, right, allow the current conduction both direction from gun supply to gun oscillator, gun oscillator to pin modulator. Okay, the, this pin modulator which is used to modulate the signal from the gun oscillator. Isolator device which is used to allow the signal only one direction, which will allow the signal only forward direction. It never possible to allow the signal again reverse direction. Okay, so remember one, one more important point, isolator always allow the signal only forward direction, it never allow the signal reverse direction. If it is reverse direction signal, if it is a chance of signal, if it is a, if it is a chance, I mean signal is reversed back to the original position, then there is a chance of getting this gun oscillator getting more heat energy, then there, there is a chance of getting damage. So that isolator always, see here, there is a arrow here, always this arrow towards the output, the output, see this arrow always focus to output side. If suppose unknowingly, if any one of you while making this bench setup connection, if you going to make connection in the reverse direction, then total bench setup, there is a chance of getting damage for this gun oscillator. So remember this. So always we need, we need to keep this arrow in the forward direction. I mean this is uh, towards output direction. Coming to this frequency meter, with the help of this frequency meter, we can calculate the value of frequency. Whenever, whenever necessity have a record, we need to so we need to so rotate this frequency meter slowly. Then we can calculate the value. But coming to this particular experiments, frequency meter, variable attenuator, these are all and all we don't want. We don't want. But uh, coming to this microwave bench setup, it is essential. But uh, uh, gun gun your characteristics, we are going to calculate the value of voltage and the current. So in this case, we are going to see the value in this particular display. Where we are going to see the output, see one more important point. In this particular display, you are going to uh, see see the output, V value and the, I mean current voltage value and the current value you are going to see in this particular display. Remember this. Okay. So here this all under microwave bench setup. Here we have a attenuator. What is the name of this attenuator? Variable attenuator. Normally attenuator it used to increase the power of the signal. With the help of this variable attenuator, we can reduce the power of the input signal. That is the added advantage for using this variable attenuator. Finally, we have detector mount. What is the use of detector mount? It is act as a termination section. So, with the help of this detector mount only, we are going to connect the oscilloscope. From here, we need to connect the CRO probe. And another point, we need to connect to the CRO. I mean, CRO another point. Okay, either it may be a channel 1 or channel 2. That depends upon our willing. So now we are going to the experimental, I mean how we are going to calculate the readings with the help of this gun oscillator, I mean with the help of this uh, experimental setups, with the help of this microwave bench setup. So now I'm, so before we are going to switch it on this gun power supply, students please remember every one of you, gun bias should be minimum condition, please carefully you adjust whether it is minimum position or maximum position, pin bias is maximum or a minimum, so gun bias should be minimum, pin bias should be maximum. More frequency, it may be any position. Okay, I am going to switch it on. I switch it on. Now I switch it on. Once it is going to switch it on, so here in the display, on the display, it will, see, it will appear continuous wave. Okay, V value also 0, I value also 0 initially. So this is a case. Once we switch it on this gun power supply, it will be appear on this particular display. So if you see, see how we are going to take the readings while varying this gun bias from 0 to 10 volt. Remember this point. So, so, how many readings we are going to calculate with the help of this gun oscillator, with the help of this gun diode characteristics? 10 readings from 0 to, from 0, I mean, we are going to vary the gun bias. So, if you are going to vary the gun bias, identify the voltage value and the current value on this particular display. So, okay, if you see, remember what, again, I am uh, reminding one more important point. If you keep on, keep on, if, if it is switch it on, if it is switch it on, then there is a chance of getting damage for this gun oscillator. It is it will get uh, uh, what is it? Getting more thermal energy. It will dissipate more thermal energy. Uh, due to that, there is a chance of getting damage. So please be careful. Within two to three minutes, you complete this entire experimental calculation. Okay, students. So see, I'm just slowly. I, I'm going to show you one only one reading. How to take? 
see here every one of you slowly and slowly slowly we need to vary slowly we need to vary so zero for zero voltage you are getting zero current next i am going to give you slowly some value yes see here there is a voltage here i am going to give you there is a voltage uh, zero point uh, 0.0.00.12 voltage seven years then 0 0.12 uh, voltage what is the current value here 0.01 amps so we need to vary this gun by us we have to note the value of voltage value and the current value on this particular uh, display unit so this is the experimental setup this is the actual result for the what is a gun diode characteristics so finally i will conclude with the help of this extra microwave bench setup with the help of this microwave the uh, bench setup we are going to calculate the value of current current value and voltage value after finding the value we are going to analyze the threshold level i mean what is threshold it is nothing but a maximum level so once you are going to get the gun bias you will get at the certain particular level you will get maximum value that is nothing but a threshold value okay please uh, keep on so uh, if you have uh, any uh, comments if you have any doubts please comment please in my channel thank you for watching